Glute hip thrust in terms of execution, it's really important we maintain a neutral spine throughout this. So that means chin down, midline braced. It's really important that we don't move into extension through the spine when we perform these. All that's gonna do is create an unstable environment for the spine and your brain is gonna downregulate things like your glutes and hamstrings actually doing the exercise, not what we want. Second thing we're looking for here is in terms of the front shins, we want to set up with a vertical front shin. We want to think about staying within our active range here. For most of us, when we talk about the hip thrust, it's shorter than you think. So if Liam goes through the bottom position real slow, basically when it gets to the point where the shins start to move backwards, so if Liam continues to move back, shins continue to move back now, we're starting to take less and less emphasis off the glutes. So essentially from Liam comes up a little bit more, so it's a start position, we move down to the active range of glutes, from there and then we smoothly initiate back into the concentric. What we want to be aware of is creating too much momentum in the concentric, so often we come down and throw up too fast. Remember, momentum is just gonna essentially mean less work from your glutes, so smooth concentric, and then of course, if prescribed, we're adding a pause in the top position. You'll notice that top position, we're looking at a straight line from the knee to the shoulder. What we're not seeing is that the bar is raising above the knee or shoulder position, essentially moving us back into extension. Mm -hmm.